Uh, I just got to make an alteration. Go, go away. Um. Okay, let me type a message to Adam. <laughs> no, that's better. Okay, let me type a message to Adam on, on he'll be glad that, that, that you're online. Uh, <laughs> yeah, wait on. Don't go away. Uh, how do I get back to Adam? Um, Left click. Yeah, I'll send a message. I've got one back from him yesterday, so yep. uh, yep. yeah, we're on the same page. We're, we're communicating and uh, good. Good. What's the message? I'll send it to him. Oh, yeah, you send a message to Adam that uh, I'm talking to a deck on Skype now. He'll be pleased. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got his message and yeah. uh, it's, all, it's all in hand. That's all good. Okay, yeah, tell him, yeah. <laughs> you right? you? Good, good, good. So you got my second message, did you, about John Lennox? Yeah, yeah, I've seen his videos too and yeah. um, done a bit of research and interest in his bio and stuff. Yeah, um, yeah get to know yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, he seems like a definite person to introduce us, to yourselves too. Have you actually spoken to him or anything? No, but I did send the fact to that RZ Island Club. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Okay, okay, that's the idea. Yeah, there's one group of guys I was talking to, yeah. Yeah. That's quite fun. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, that's always, yeah, that's always interesting. Uh, people stare at you on the tube and that. that well, <laughs> that's, when you, that's when you can <laughs> say that the life of Brian was spot on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, because uh, there are three of those apostolic, uh, yeah. apostolic um, churches right. I'm in, in England. There's one in Manchester. Right. And I tried to them all yesterday for opening times and fax numbers and stuff, and I couldn't get through to any of them. Yeah, well, I, I, uh, I, suspect, I suspect that, um, you know, the fax numbers or telephone numbers are straight to the, like, the, the priest's house or whatever it is. Now, most of the time, it seems that the, uh, the, the fathers of the congregation come from Armenia. So their English may not be very good. Bottom line is, if you can strike anybody that uh, that speaks halfway decent English, that's the guy you go for. <laughs> I'll speak pidgin I mean. Oh, do you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I um, can learn. But but in honesty, I mean, it doesn't change anything with Armenia. They've been chosen. That's it. That uh, it's a done deal kind of thing. But these other guys to be communicating the message, they're the ones to go for. They're the ones that yes. need to get their act together. They really need to get themselves over here, spend time with us, learn the message, uh, learn, you, you know, you, you, you did your, you, you're the person. Yeah, well, it's not, it's not, you're not even asking them to decode anything, you give them the bloody key, you know what I mean? Well, it's, totally, uh, it's all about the key to the house of David and, and the, the, the uh, Isaiah. I like, and it uh, can only be God, it can only be the Christ. It's all about the pyramid. So they need to, because once they understand how he's done it all, it, it'll be a snack for them. They can put it all together and then they can go out into the world and say, hello, you know, no longer. Like, history is past. That is now, all of that is ancient history. He's here. He's been here all along. We've been deluded because the information's been kept back and this is the reason why. It seems like none of these guys understand who the enemy is. They're quite uh, naive about all that, which would be because they're closeted in their academia and that's all they're concerned about. So they need to learn exactly who, it, who, who is who in the zoo and why it is that they have such a battle in this day of new atheism. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a few of them together, and there's four of them, isn't there? That's right. Uh, the RCIM, there's a number of them. Now, that seems to be the European. There's even a girl there. Uh, so, th But they're all attached to, uh, I think they're all pretty well attached to Oxford University in some way or, or whatever. They're, so they're all very well educated. And they're well, it's quite funny, actually. I don't know if you believe it or not, but um, on my list of things to do was to uh, get a mathematician from Oxford. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, now you, don't, you, know, you know who it is. So go no, target, which is perfect. Target, yeah. I, you see it as a target and, and you are relentless. Don't give them any quarter. You have the authority, not them, right? So, that, yeah. so that's what I say. I mean, Dex, you've been to university yourself. I mean, you you you, you talk. I about haven't it. actually. Well, you've been teaching there, haven't you? These, these yeah, well, no, I've taught people from Oxford and Cambridge. Oh, yeah. there you go. Okay, so understand the yeah. type. Talk the language. Dress what it. Be, come whatever it is that they'll let you in the door. You know, be all things to all people to get your foot in the door, and then hit them with it. So you go in with authority, not an apology at all, just tell them, listen, the Christ is being back, <laughs> use the F word, whatever, I've already warned them, he's the rock of offence, he speaks his mind and he takes no quarter. It's all about shaking awake the walking dead and he'll use, he'll use offence and humour to do that. So, uh, you know, they better drop their nandy pandy Tell the over unity motor. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the over... Nice. We uh, tested it today. The over unity motor that anybody can make from bike wheels and that kind of thing, we tested it today. In principle, it works just fine. Put it together and that will release the world from, you know, the oil cartels, all that kind of thing. And that's well, exactly... There's, there's, there's so many more um, new technologies being developed. There's, there's like a real oh, yeah. burst of uh, mm. science that's happening now with hydrogen and all sorts. Oh, yeah. um, even in mainstream media, I'm reading it in the uh, like Daily Mail and that. Even like four 14 year old girls yeah. managed to run an engine on Uruguay. Oh, that's right, in Africa. Yes, yeah, it's all marvellous. Marvelous. Yeah, yeah, this is for 14 year old girls. Obviously, yep. that's getting quite a lot of media attention. So, yep. you know, no one can say that these things don't exist. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's awesome.
So they're right in there in these nations with AIDS and all the rest of it. Well, you know, it's perfect. We can show them the protocols, introduce them to them, and just the simple things to to knock over all of these diseases. So, yep, hit them, hit them with old barrels, give them no quarter, and, uh, and and make it straight right from the beginning. You'll, you'll not get it unless you humble yourself and become like a small child. This is this is the reality. Well, someone's got to get it at some point, will they? Well, they do. Now, these would be the perfect... that They can go out, they've got speaking... Well, what, what, what makes you think that particularly? Like, is there an angle you think up and come from? Well, they're mathematicians. Hmm. It's yeah, all in the numbers. Just, uh, they're that's it. yeah. It's not the words of the Bible. Uh, the, 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 you know, the whole thing was constructed, the book within the book. The book is hidden within the book. So the book, that's what the Bible is, means the book. The book yeah. is the book everybody's reading, but they are unable to decode it. The book within the book is the numbers that are holy, not the words. They are a trap. It's the numbers. Ooh. And, and words and spells are, are, are corrupted, aren't they? The words they change, but they have number values. So that's that's where their holiness is, is the number values of the words, which used in conjunction with the concordance. You see, the concordance, yeah. the concordance is holy. That was put together by divinely inspired men, as was the Bible, but the enemy corrupted it. But that doesn't matter because it, it, it's it's the number code from the Bible itself. But the concordance is divine, it is holy. It was organized to be the decoding tool, hidden in the numbers, the measurement of the temple, which is the earth, and the, all the numbers of the King James 1611 only version. So, and that, as you know, in 1871, they began to revive everything because they discovered the code and go, oh shit. So it's all about the numbers that only God can reveal because it's all about him. It's his. It's his story. It's his creation. He hides everything from the enemy. So the enemy goes and counterfeits everything. That's why Freemasonry is a counterfeit. It knows that God works in in, in numbers and, and measuring the earth and all the rest of it. So they build their structures trying to um, steal his creation. Well, he comes in through the back door as a baby and yes. disarms them all by revealing, first of all, their deception and the evil of them and saying, well, well this, is, this is how I did it. This is how I hid it. has to be hidden. Otherwise, uh, people get killed. You know, if, if Martha, if, you know, well, as it was, I was beheaded, but that was after I gave birth to the children, but it was all hidden. Not even the knowledge of it is out there in mainstream. And they'll go, oh, well, you know, they'll reject all that. But... It's God for God's sake. He hides the most important things until he comes along and then he reveals them. It's like finding well, it makes sense because if it, if it wasn't hidden, they would have done well, the, whatever they needed to do to oh, hide it. Well, 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 as it was, when they dragged me before him to be stoned, I was already pregnant. Well, they were trying to kill the baby with the babies within me by stoning me to death. And how does gravity feel? Is that, is that harsher than... Small pointy one. <laughs> 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 How does gravel feel? <laughs> is that is that a line from um, <laughs> the line? Yeah, that's a nice cry. That's just okay. like it's a pointy one. No gravel. Or I'll have a pointy one. Then. <laughs> is that? You said you'll have a bag of gravel and I'll have a large pointy one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm loving all the other the big remix this John doing. Oh, yeah, they're, they're swanky, aren't they? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, uh, we'll have a whole, whole set soon. Is that for the um, Jubilee party, Joe? Yeah, I've just been stamping the name on them, so hopefully people will come across it and go, oh, what's this all about? Now, now John, John Lennox's whole name is Dr. John Carson Lennox. Carson, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And his yeah wife I found him on uh, 192. I can, I can actually, I think... It's about ten up, and I can get access. I'll be able to get his full postcode and the uh, phone. Oh, number. good. Okay. And his wife so, is uh, Sally, of course, and he's got grown-up children and grandchildren. Blah blah blah. But, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't know whether to try and book an appointment or just show up. The idea was just just show up, but obviously I'll have to try and pinpoint his whereabouts. As I say, I know where he's. I know where he's exactly going to be on the 27th. But obviously, 
we need to get in there before. Uh, yeah, yeah, just track. That's what I say. Track him down and and yeah. you know, like a hunting dog, and um, yeah, just wrestle him like a bone until he <laughs> gets it. <laughs> yeah, we need to shake, 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 shake some of these people out there. Uh, well, apparently, well, that's for I sure. Mean, you know, uh, we're reading about um, what's going on in Syria and all the rest of it. They've got to wake up, for God's sake. Oh, you know, well, Turkey just um, put another Facebook missiles on the Syrian border. That's right, and so they've already got US troops in there. And now, what, have you heard anything about what's going on in Isfahan, about the, the, the explosion that was supposed to have happened in Iran? Iran, yeah, they evacuated one thousand, didn't they? Five hundred million people. Yeah. No, no, uh, uh, five thousand people. Yeah. And uh, now there have been, um, they called it pollution, didn't they? Although there was this thing about it's probably radiation, although the Iranian government saying pollution, and now they're saying there's high pollution levels in Tehran, but there's been no evacuation yet. But um, Hillary Clinton was over there last week, wasn't she? She got injured over there. Oh, um, brain. Well, well, apparently that was a brain, that was like a clot uh, that associated with a fall a month or so ago. She, she fell and hit her head and so she was at... Yeah, well, see, I've read reports that she was in Iran and a Navy SEAL got killed and that, that was with her injury as a result of some botched operation, uh, whatever that may have been. Right. Uh, Angel pushed her over and she bashed Yeah, her. But right. But uh, with this info, this info, it's just... It is. Now, now, Jim Stone's come straight out and said that, um, like, that nuclear reactor, he, he, he seems to know quite a bit about nuclear reactors, especially covering Fukushima and, and even yeah. before then. Mm. He said that there was nothing, you know, they're talking about leaks and potential, that, that that was a completely safe reactor. There was no leaks, there's no talk, there's no rumours about anything wrong there. He's saying straight out it's Israel and it would have been uh, it, it would have been targeted by Israel. So he's calling it for what it is, being the first one out there saying this is, you know, uh, he says that this is we not the first one. Iran. It's a radiation in Iran. What well, well, the explosion that that uh, caused the evacuation? Oh, yeah. He's saying it would have been a strike by Israel. He's saying it straight off the bat uh, because of that react there was nothing wrong with that reactor. Totally safe. Uh, so any uh, bullshit about it was leaking and dangerous and all this kind of stuff. He says, no way, Jose. He said it would have been a strike by Israel. And Israel apparently reported, had a photograph of like an apocalyptic cloud of dust coming up uh, like the day it happened in one of their newspapers. However, even he, when he went in to find the links to everything, it seems like you can't confirm anything. So. Uh, yeah. Well, see, the thing with Iran and all these uh, enrichment programs, that could just be a, like a smoke screen because apparently um, there's something called the Cash Foundation, K E S H E. Cash, yes, yes. yes. Uh, you heard of them? They're, they're, they've been designing all kinds of plasma engines and technologies yes. and they've been giving it to yes. uh, countries around the world, like Uganda, and that yes. was on live Ugandan TV because they're yes. handing over these technologies. Apparently, the US taking it, obviously the US haven't told their people, yep. but it's all it's partly funded by the Iranian government, of the Iranian foundation, yep, um, that's right. um, you know. so there's a lot of speculation as to this might be the reason why Iran's being targeted, you know, at well, this time, they're well, trying to get this uh, technology out. Yeah, well, well, you know, yeah, Yaz just finished his design and would prove it in principle today, so uh, he's saying, take this around. It, it, actually, this, I mean, no nation needs to have nuclear. It, it's ridiculous. No nation needs yeah, well, to have nuclear. Well, carbon, they've got the struggles to clean the carbon monoxide and the um, sulfur out and methane out of coal, haven't they? Yeah, well, well, not only that, I mean, with these, uh, in, in, like what Yard's working on, what others have already worked on, um, it's all there. You don't need these yeah. technologies that are dirty or, or whatever. You, you, you put them in place and then it's free, absolutely. It's at, but what, the way he's designing it is that any, any man with half a brain and, and a bicycle wheel can do what he's showing the world to do and generate their own power. So you get that into the hands of the Iranians and Polish people and things like that so that people can be doing these things and working on them or, or 
manufacture them wholesale for the rest of it, whatever. It um, removes the beef factor. Yeah. Well, the sooner the better. It's, uh, well, they, they, they can't hide these technologies because they're still, they're so spread in what in, the, in trying to keep the lie up. You know, with what's going on with guns right now. Oh yeah. The things are going to slip through the net. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, they they should have achieved all their goals well before this, well before we, well before 2012, and so they're up the creek without a paddle. Um, yeah, but all the more reason for these guys to shake themselves awake and get on with it because once the rumour gets out there in the world, and I mean on a large scale, like every, every man and his dog is saying, did you hear the crisis back, the crisis back, like that rumour, um, that's it, game over. Well, this, this is it, yeah. Yeah, so, but, and, and, and you know, that, that's the most effective, of course, throughout the Christian community who are expecting him it's not on the fucking cloud. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, see, they've done a good job to um, keep look, get people looking in the wrong direction, haven't they? Oh, totally. Absolutely. Well, he's on SoundCloud. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Joel is pointing out he is on SoundCloud. I'm on the cloud, no. Oh, cool. Thank you. Like, yeah, he's on Skype too, Joel. What's that, mate? He's on Skype too. Yeah. Oh right, I don't know, what's your address? Um, I've got your contact on mine, I've got mine. Julie Roo, Jolie Roo, isn't it? Yeah, that's it, I couldn't remember it just then. Yeah, when I was in SoundCloud and uh, details and stuff, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got it in 2013. Yeah, I said he's also on Cloud9. He's feeling good. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, he's working on his... I'm glad to hear. I'm feeling a lot better actually. And uh, good. yeah, sounds like Adam's okay. Yeah, yeah, he's, oh. he's had a few good days. So he was able to get some sleep and had a few good days. He said today that was terrible. He started to feel anxious again and just, uh, you know, nauseated. Um, yeah, I had a good feeling last night. You did? I can't remember what time it was. Yeah, it lasted about five minutes. It was a... Uh, Built that I wanted to go out of my body, but wouldn't let it go. I think it's an ounce for you, Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Anyway, yeah. you've got something to focus on now. You've got your time. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool, yeah, yeah. I'll um, get on that. Yeah. So, so, so I'll, 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 I'll wait that three, yeah, three hours, right? That's, that's easy, easy. Hun, would you say focus on them rather, you know, the apostolic thing? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, focus on these guys who speak the language and, and you know, all that Yeah, we've been with these um, two churches in Kensington. I was trying to fax the one in uh, Manchester, but after the two in Kensington, I can just pop up there and deliver them if you like, or post them if you like, you know what I mean? No, post them. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to have put it that way. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying don't post, don't post them, deliver them by hand. And, yeah. uh, uh, but make the focus with these uh, academics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, that sounds like the plan. Yeah. Right, I'll let you get off to bed. Oh, well, oh, it's yeah. only 9.44. Oh, right, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> next subject, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, well um, for the motor. This. Yeah. That, can, you, can you download the uh, copies of the motor I've got, plans? Yeah, yeah. Well, we can send them as a file through Skype. We'll do that. Okay. Oh, we'll what? Oh, uh, I, want, I want to send you the plans of the motor through Skype once I get them from oh, you. Oh, right. Okay, brilliant. I have to put on a gig stick, babe, and then... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, that's the plan, that's the one you up on the video, wasn't it? Yeah, it's up on the video. It's yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The document copy will be perfect. So, um, when are you getting the next plate? Uh, is, is that what you're waiting for? That's a different unit, wasn't it? What was that? Oh, that oh, you mean right. the, the panel? Laser, that was a different, the laser. Yeah, that's a different design, but it's, it's still very similar. In on the same principle, yeah. Mm. Yeah, works on uh, gravity, momentum, but the uh, the one was all totally magnets. That has a slightly different uh, for experts when they do it with high precision. Uh, there's many factors they can use for uh, capturing energy as well. It's just, it's a more sophisticated design. This other one is just a bike wheel and that's it. Right. Did you ever see that um, massive top Ferris wheel type invention, Italian yeah. bloke? Uh, yeah, the French guy, yeah. 
Yeah, the French guy, yeah, Matt Dillon is by himself. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. It's a huge bad story. It's got iron, wasn't it? So yeah, well, that's, that's it's a, it's a very, very uh, crude, you wouldn't get any power out of it at all. That's what it's all about, power. So uh, what I'm building here is uh, tremendous horsepower. Right. Yeah, well, torque. Is it torque you need? Yeah, that? yeah, torque. The, it's got high speed and low torque. It, either of them's got very, very high power. Right. And, uh, in what sort of... Um, and I have that be measured, you know? Oh, well, if you were doing it in horsepower... Um, this one here that I'm doing at the moment probably put out, put out about five horsepower on a bike wheel. Oh, well, okay. Well, yeah, it's going to jam, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, like if he was using it for just to power a bike, uh, it would just exponentially accelerate. Right. Better have, better have good brakes. Overcome friction. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, friction's not a, a problem here because what you're doing. When you're dropping, and let's say it was a ball, for example, and you drop it at 32 feet per second, per second is the highest rate, but yeah. let's say it weighs 10 pounds, one ball, and you've got 13 balls that's on the wheel at the same moment, all dropping, but they're not actually touching the wheel itself, they're not touching the magnet. So what's happening is, as the ball drops, what is running around is not the rim of the bike wheel, it's a cam. And the cam, depending on how wide or narrow it is, will determine how fast the ball will spin. Now, you're getting that for nothing because the magnetic field of the bike wheel is pulling a ball against it, but it can't hit the wheel. It's separated by this cam. So what happens right. is the ball falls and pulls the bike wheel magnet after it. But as it's falling, it's spinning. And the spin you're getting for nothing. So that's, the way right. my, that's where the momentum is. So can you imagine if you've got, say, uh, 10 pound on a ball, and uh, which is very easily done on a bike wheel, even, uh, and you've got 13 that is giving you a fall, then you've got 13 times 10 pounds. It's 130 pounds on a bike wheel. Right. That's, that's more than a fucking motorbike. <laughs> like you don't have that kind of horsepower coming out like that, and it gets faster and faster. So you have to be able to take the cam away from the from the uh, wheel that's spinning, that with the magnets on it, to slow it down. And what you have that auto regulated, imagine. You, you can regulate it, that's right. But you can then drive many of these HH2 generators generating hydrogen. They're all over the internet now, and you can buy them. Now, when they're just generating it at say 15 amps, 20 amps. Well, that's nothing. What happens if you put a thousand amps through something like that? How much hydrogen are you going to get out of it? Because this is what this thing will can produce. You can put a thousand amps out at low voltage, just nothing. And you're going to have enough hydrogen to run a bloody train engine. See what I'm saying? Now on top yeah, of that, yeah, yeah. on top of that, you can generate air pressure. And so you take a four cylinder motor, you've got your intake, then you've got your compression, fire, expansion of gas, push the cylinder down, and then exhaust strokes. There you go, four strokes. What you can do is you uh, generate air pressure, and then what they've done in France already, it's, it's known technology, they even do it in Australia, and they have tanks that could be 6,000 PSI. So what you do is you inject that into the top of the stroke, at the same time as you inject helium, and it, because it's 20 to 1, it diesels it. It'll fire it straight down. So let's talk diesel engine here. And it pushes down. Then when it's coming back up, it's pushing the gas out, gets to the top, the valve closes, and you're into the compression stage again, but you haven't compressed anything yet. Because normally what you do is you pull the air in and compress it to 20 to 1 or 18 to 1 or 14 to 1 for a diesel. And but it is you still you? Yeah, so when you get to the top of the stroke, you've only made one movement. You've gone down, you come back up. So down power stroke comes back up, inject the air and hydrogen, down power stroke comes back up. It's 400% more efficient than a diesel engine. Because <laughs> well, right? yeah. it's not four stroke, it's one stroke. Right, well, yeah, it's still producing the same power. Exactly. So the power you're wow. putting out drives the compressor, gives you more air, and you've got the magnetic motor on board as well, 
generating electricity, making more hydrogen, and away you go. Well, see, so you've got that, and then you've got the heat, haven't you? That's so right. So you could, you could run ships on it. No problem. Well, I'm we'll like to look forward to seeing that in action. Yes, well, I'm getting into it tomorrow. Well, what, sort of, you, what sort of scales can you make them? Can you make them like small and big? Oh, yeah, make them any size. doesn't matter. But you can imagine, if, imagine if the yeah. weights were involved, were a thousand pounds apiece, and you got 13 dropping at the same time. So that gives you a bit of torque there. So a thousand pounds times 13, that's 13,000 pounds torque. So you could do one as high as that guy is built in France, right? Easily. And that would produce thousands upon thousands and thousands of horsepower for nothing. So he's already got it built. All you got to do is do it properly. Take all that shit off it and put this other stuff on. These well, are, this is, they've been finding that. We've um, all this globalisation, factories shutting down in America, say, and sending them over to China. Like the the the, the machinery that they, the plant machinery, where they're taking it apart, right. they're taking it to China, going to reassembly, and going, well, we don't need this bit, no, we don't need this bit, no, we need this bit. They're actually making the machines more efficient by this transfer of, of the plant machinery and stuff. Right. And it just goes to show, you know, with, with new eyes, it's, it, you can make things more efficient and anyway, but, so yeah, it's, it's, got, it's got to all progress that way, isn't it? Uh, oh, yeah. As I say, I don't think they're going to be able to keep it quiet much longer. They've got their uh, bit fighting and all. Well, all we've already, right we sent it out to this strange character that uh, Ash met um, in Barrel. And uh, very odd character. Talk a mile a minute. Talks bullshit all the time. <clears throat> However, he is genuinely trying to make things green, and and uh, he's got four thousand people on his list. So I uh, sent something to him, and he rang me up, and he said, "Can I make a video showing you how it works?" Which I did, and he sent that out to four thousand people. This is wrong. No, 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 France no. is mad as a fucking snake. Oh, no. Are you familiar with the site loveforlife.com.au? Is that your events association, is it? No, no, no. 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 no this is a, his name is Arthur Christian. He's another, um, you know, straw man, all that kind of thing. All, all, all the current information about everything. Uh, he's been through the straw man route himself, you know, fought it all. Um, but he is a very odd character. He said, "For oh, I found Brian, and then uh, uh, I, I was on his site looking at information and realised he was just around the corner from me. So we came around and spent the afternoon there, about four hours, and, and talked uh, a lot of um, uh, off the planet kind of stuff. Weird. I mean, they've got the right idea. What, what they're trying is create communities called kingdoms, not kingdoms, like there's no king, everybody is equal. It's about kin, as in, you know, next door neighbour. Yeah, right, French. Yeah. Um, so they've got a lot of information and it's all of these, these people, but he is uh, quite quite mad, but he's growing a fabulous uh, food forest in his backyard. Um, so that, and he doesn't, he's completely resigned from the system. He's not dependent on them for anything. Um, and uh, so his, his his site is filled with information, very very wordy stuff, and and yeah, so he kind of makes your head spin more than Brian does. But <laughs> yeah, I, I, I remember you mentioning now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, have you heard anything from the Galactic Federation of Light? No, no, we haven't. Or gone by the way, guys. They, they seem to have dropped off the planet, and of course Alex Jones has been exposed, and then that piece. Santilli oh, is just the same. Yeah, yeah. They're, all, they're all going down the tubes, and, and, and bloody Donnie Gilson is. <laughs> is he not? Is, is oh. he, you're not coming on again? Well, no, he said he'd have a thought, well, yar on the following week. Of course, we've heard nothing from him. And uh, I sent Adam had a dream about him, so I sent him the dream. And it was about jumping into a, a very wide river that was filled with logs. And in Can the river was in Canada, and, and, and up there you call them deadheads. Logs, you can't see them, but they, they'll, uh, you know, um, sink your boat. They'll, they'll, sink, they'll sink your boat. So he jumped in oh, a right. river. He was with us in the dream. He was walking with us and he had his survival backpack on and then he, he decides to jump in this raging river and he loses all of his 
backpack stuff. He's clinging to a log and he's riding the log down and then he, he jumps off the log at the last and swims against the current to make it to the bank right before a huge you know, drop that would have been his sure death. And uh, so I, I sent him the dream after he had Yar on and we haven't heard anything from him since. <laughs> And I explained that the, the very wide river, you know, it's all about the broad road to destruction, uh, and the logs are called deadheads. Well, that's all the people that are riding the very broad, in, in the USA, riding the very broad road to destruction. And then he's close escape. Well, yeah, in the dream he had a close escape. However, you know, his close escape is getting back to us, and he doesn't seem to be doing that. So. <laughs> well, he will. Obviously, he keeps getting that call to you, doesn't he? Yeah. Yes, he does, but oh, you know. Uh, yeah. yeah, it sounds like a, a winner, you know what I mean? I don't know, it sounds like he's on board. <laughs> uh, I don't know who he's being influenced by now, though. There's no more, there's a new, a new Vicky on the scene. No, the no, no, no. That play, no, but what happened, the day he had set aside for having Yar, it was supposed to be exclusively Yar, an hour and a half or something. Chris and this Sherry. Though. Chris and Sherry Geo turn up. New age Christian type. You know, the people he's on with, that Chris. Yeah. Ge yeah. They turn up unexpectedly, so he gets hijacked. And instead of right. being, being in his studio and interviewing Ya, yeah, they're riding around um, Santa Monica, being followed by the police, and they go off air and totally distracted. And then they're filming a UFO and think that's a miracle. <laughs> Absolute <laughs> bullshit. So I made it very plain that was you know he's riding the river with deadheads. <laughs> so I really did a YouTube video of uh, Nibiru. Oh, you did? Which one was that? I've, I've, I've added it to my favourites. Oh, um, right. I, I do see them from time. To, I do keep an eye on those, and but really good ones. I've, I've added my favourites. But yeah, it was. Yeah, you could really see it. It's big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think the guy was in North America. Uh, on the sunrise, uh, you can see with a tried the chemtrail, but um, yeah, it's pretty damn obvious it's here. Mm. So that's uh, that's a good one. And um, what, oh, put there was some. Oh, I saw another article the other day. It was in Gabriel Valley. There was some down in Gabriel Valley. Love it. In America, oh, I can't remember what it was now. Um, Oh no, I can't remember. So yeah, it will come to me. But um, yeah, I thought that was interesting. Gabrielle Valley, what it's all yeah, about. Yeah. Okay. That, that is, what was going on there? I can't remember. It was um, more these loud noises and stuff, or sinkholes and things like that. There was there was something strange going on there. Put it that way. Mm. Mm. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. You get the, the just back to attention when you see things like Gabriel and we see Marshall come up a lot actually. Marshall? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just people on like being interviewed or yeah. stuff like Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of Marshalls coming up to the fore. <laughs> <laughs> the Marshall's back in town. <laughs> and there was one that looked just like Brian. Oh really? It could, it could have been family. Ah. I was like, you know, you've got the, the like sharp Brows, haven't you? Like, yeah. Your eyes. Yeah, the Stop. eyebrows, the pyramid eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and just the bone structure as well. You know, like the brow of the eye. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big blue eyes. And did you have a beard? Uh, yeah, grey hair. Yeah. No, I don't think he didn't have a beard. I don't know. Oh, it's a girl. Could be family there. Oh, <laughs> dear. <laughs> 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 You might be worth sending someone to investigate, I don't know, get some uh, testimony from Michelle and people like that. I uh, mean, they, they won't talk. <laughs> we'll, oh, we'll 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 <laughs> or uh, cheeky well, snap. Get him to ring Paul then. Oh, look. Yeah, all, all the trolls playing no prank, all the ex-wives and... Yeah. Oh, no, totally. Didn't hear that. They're saying that all the trolls claim they have read, rang all my ex-wives. Yeah, they're, they're in communication with the wives apparently. They've got all the scoop and the information. Well, I know your daughters. They've contacted all Oh, them. really? Yeah. They've contacted all my daughters? <laughs> they're, they're saying, is that what they're saying? They're That's what they're contact. saying. That's what they're saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. 
But the bottom line, <laughs> the bottom line is the ex-wives are liars anyway. They'd be the first one to deny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true. So. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just thinking that you know, obviously all the stuff's got to come out now, and you know. Well, it, it, it's going to come out when you get intelligent men who understand the game, what he's had to do to overcome. And so that's the that's the target. It's got nothing to do with anybody I'll else. Oh, I am. Yeah. Yeah. These men getting it. Once I realise it's numbers, not words. Numbers, not words. That's it. The book numbers within the book. Just it. got to say. Yeah. The, the, the book within the book, they all know what that is as Christians. It, uh, uh, Daniel, book within the book sealed up till the time of the end. Daniel was told that, well the time of the end is now, because it took... Well, let me write that down, let me write this down, because this is going to be important. I mean, obviously I don't know the scripture to bring up things like that yeah. to make it relevant to what they know, so yeah. Daniel said, book within the book. Yeah, yeah, Daniel, it was Gabriel that appeared to Daniel and, and gave him a, a vision about the end of time. And he showed him what would go down and he told him to seal up the book until the time of the end. So it's the book, like... The pyramid. The book, well the book within the book is actually the numbers, isn't it? Yeah, but what, right. what's the verse? How do you find it? Oh, oh. Um, well... Seal the book or something like that. Seal the book, I think. Seal, seal. Seal the book until the end. Uh, Daniel 12.4 Sorry? Daniel 12.4 12, 4. 12, 4. Right. Yeah, that, that's the sort of thing that I'm going to, obviously these people are going to be well read. Yeah, well, of so. course they know the Bible inside out and backwards and that could be their downfall. You can say to them, straight up, tell them that you have no biblical knowledge. You... You, you understood what was going down because you understood that the mathematics of it, the numbers, the mathematician and how he had to do it. So that, that carried more weight than, than you coming along and saying, well, you know, having knowledge of the Bible, if you yeah, like. And he was out here for a, almost a year. Yeah, and, and you, you spent 11 months with us and, and um, you know, you, you lived and breathed it and this is what it is. So they, have yeah. to, they really have to lay their book down and relearn how it is that God has had, had overcome the beast, the measuring of his creation. The world, the earth is the temple. See, they think the temple of God is a heavenly temple, that it exists in the realm of no time, in eternity. The temple is the earth. If they get that, then they'll well, the start. Lord's Prayer. Come yeah, and, and of course the Lord's Prayer, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on the earth as it is in heaven, because it was all about the, the timing, moving up back toward the north side of the, and into the heavenly realm of creation, which is the north side of the galaxy. I won't, I won't try and explain Blugum. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you can tell him. He, now, Revelation 3.12, he clearly warned... He said he'd have a new name. This is Jesus speaking through Michael the Archangel when he appeared to John on the Isle of Patmos. He said then, to those who overcome, I'll make him a pillar in my temple, so a pillar in the earth, and you will no more go out, meaning you don't have to reincarnate anymore. Because okay. when you go out from the earth, it's, it's that death cycle of reincarnation. So those that overcome, he will make a pillar in his temple, which is the earth, so that they have, they don't have to go out, in other words, don't have to die anymore. And, and I'll tell you the new name of my God, that was then, and then the last thing, and, and, and um, the new Jerusalem, which is Harcourt, but the, the new Jerusalem, new Jerusalem is, is like, um, it's not the name of the city, it's just what it is, it's a new Jerusalem, but its name is Harcourt, already proclaimed, in Victoria, Australia, because that's where the Christ is. It's got nothing to do with Jerusalem. Like, you know, uh, England is talking about New Jerusalem, and and it's New Jerusalem because Old Jerusalem is destroyed. And then it from there up to Armenia, that's where you get the 888 number again. Now, Armenia is uh, the from the pyramid. The pyramid to where the church is at Armenia is 887.8, right? And that right. is the square root of the number of words total 
which is 788,280 words total in the King James Bible, se uh, sorry, 87.8, eight, um, I think, nautical miles it is, it measures from the pyramid, and that is the square root of where the church is in Armenia. Plus, it measures 777.7, uh, um, I think, miles from the dome of the rock. So everything about the church in Armenia, they are the ones who have been persecuted for the name and the word of Jesus from 301, from before then, when they took on Christianity as their national religion. No other religion has been in Armenia ever since. And the king of Cilicia, which is another, like another Armenia split because they're always raiders, and so they split kingdoms. At Cilicia, um, the king was Agbar, and he wrote a letter to Jesus asking him to come because he, was, he had an illness that couldn't be cured. And Jesus, and they've got the letter, Jesus wrote back, and it's exactly what Brian would say, I cannot come now, I have to fulfill prophecy. However, I will send my disciple to you, which is exactly what happened. After he ascended, uh, two disciples went to Agrippa and healed him with the word of God. And he was the king that received the shroud of Turin, and it was uh, hidden uh, in Edessa. It was Edessa where he was, Cilicia, yeah. not Odessa, Edessa. And right. So no, they, 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 they re, they, so they are a really very important part in the preservation of the shroud and uh, no, uh, the persecuted. I mean, so the Jews. When you read the, the history of Armenia, yeah. especially so in 1915, right. and then the um, genocide that, that was conducted against down, them by right the young Turks, falls, the Ottoman Empire, you realise that, that that's where the Jews call themselves gravity, Jews have not spin, stolen the persecution against Armenia and adopted it as their own. Right. That, that's I where they've ju stolen and they've just they've just made it their history and the bullshit of Holocaust and all the rest of it. Where at one well, point on a total of one point eight million Armenians were massacred by the Turks, then what and the the, 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 the order was given to wipe out every single yeah. one of them. Huh? This was by the, the Ottoman so, Empire. When she gets to the the end, gonna be now Turkey so refused fast. ever since to acknowledge it. Another camp here on the but outside Armenia, they've and come back. When, of course, like they were dispersed yeah. throughout yeah. all of the world. They when are the diaspora all up. over the world where their communities are strong. They have that their communities are productive. They're businessmen. They're well regarded. Very family oriented. Power and they teach their already. children take the as much history power from the beginning and all about the uh, genocide so that generator. they will not forget Maximum. their roots right. and who and it is. And, and they, so horsepower. they have died. That well, nation has died for, for the sake right. of Jesus Christ. Right. Right. You know. yeah. So you have to so look past all of the uh, orthodoxy uh, of their, their worship and their traditions free. and things. But yep. that is how they and, have preserved uh, that's their faith mm. now, and their belief in Jesus Christ. You know so they, uh, they win the prize. Uh, they are right. the Church of Philadelphia who have yeah, overcome not. to survive. And now there's 11 million of them throughout the world. But at one point and there was hardly any. But they have come something. back and, and with their faith and perseverance one, that they have two, overcome. They are the kind of people that you need in an army. That's all that occurrence. Don't give up. goes into a transformer. So uh, that's, that's, right. that's, that's right. why they win the prize. They're working in conjunction with you, you know, your academics who communicate messages all around the world. Plus there's a big, big, several languages. So everybody can work together to, um, you know, not only get the news out there, but get on with the business of uh, uh, moving forward with, with paradise and, and, you know, dealing with this um, bloody enemy that's like... It'd have come up with that if it had the idea. If the maggots would have been available. Needs to be a big one. Once Jeremy is defeated, you'll see a turnaround. So quick, you know, the, it won't take long. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I know that. Well, we can get our heads out now. Years, uh, you know, the rumor of this, uh, that's just the whole point. The rumor of him being here to be the enemy. Yeah, like, you know, we can just put him in electromagnetic here to feed the enemy. That's why they've gone out of their way to stop the news going out. If the news got out, they would have been defeated the year he was born. 
That's, that's, well, that's what I, you know, it's the news of him being here that defeats the enemy. It's game over, over. I've got a uh, wheel so, to so get that, that has to be <laughs> got through. And, you know, like lightning from east to west, it's the internet. You know, here we are talking to you around the other side of the world and in nanoseconds you've got the information. So that's yeah. like a flash of lightning. They're waiting for a literal flash of lightning, lighting up the skies to see him coming in the cloud. Whoa! The internet! It's not like Jesus talked in metaphors a lot, didn't he? You know, he's a parable. He spoke in parables. It is like, and his name, Marshall, means parable. So, yeah, and yet they take, they return like certain things so literally in unbelievable, isn't it? Well, that's right, but he spoke in parables and everything, so that only those that were close to him really understood what it was he was saying. Well, that's right, huh? So, uh, you know, these guys, that's what they have to get over themselves. It is life, it is life, it is life. So, the saying, you know, he's coming in the clouds and and from east to west like a flash of lightning, well, it's life. It's not that way, it is life. So, what is life? Lightning flashing from east to west. The internet. Yeah. So we're just pressing against it as well. Again, all the problems is going to come into the other Are there any big ones you can think of that need to If you run a straight on that, uh, no, it's pretty here. much all over on the first day. That, 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 and slow that, 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 that's how critical it is. Um, well, it's funny actually. I know why you're so, uh, you get paranoid when you get to go, I think, pretty much on the 17th, because it's still the 21st, that's when you're 20th, when John's account closed down, and you weren't on for it. I think for a couple of days. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. Well, you know, anything can happen, literally. We're just ready for anything. We are ready. So, if a, and, like the first time, he had to go. It was only after he went that things sped up. And people went about, you know, doing what they had to be, what had to be done. It's the same when we go into a nation. We don't hang around. You go in, you're there for four weeks, do what's got to be done. It really is hit and run so that people can get on and continue doing like that. If you're there, then nobody does anything because they're, you know, hanging around wanting to, you know, chat and yeah. do all these kinds of things and waiting for you to do it all. So you, it's hit and run. So, you know, he said to me just a couple of days ago, it may not, you know, we may have to get out of here just to let the world realise what they've missed. <laughs> well, yeah. It's a bit like it. There's Jesus, the whole Jesus thing didn't take until he was gone, really, did he? Well, that's right. Yeah. It, was, it was the ministry, <laughs> the planting, the ministry on the sea. But, uh, you know, get out of the way of Rover so that people can get, get on with what it is that they have to do. We might have to fake your death, Brian. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> We've done it before. <laughs> if you do a thing, can you just leave us a note? Well, I, I'm going to write out certain instructions of, you know, um, yeah, bank account things and all that kind of thing so you can operate like we're still here. <laughs> I feel a, a lawnmower accident coming on. Yeah. <laughs> well, I won't get me, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, dear, dear. But anyway, so, yeah, I mean, the sooner you can get to these guys and, and shake them away, um, you know. Well, that's at the top of my list, so... Uh, yeah. Well, I've got, I've got a load of trimming to do today. Oh, <laughs> oh have you? Sure, <laughs> Woo! Yes, uh... Just got some dope delivered. Oh. Double back. Ka- Karen, his roller. His roller girl. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, uh, how, how is that? Is, is that the race reason you've got there, or what? Uh, what, yeah. what, what, what is this? It is. Is it? Any good? It's okay, it didn't, it didn't turn out as good as we would have liked, but, you know, it still does the job. No, no. Is it about you making cookies? Don't cookies or anything? Oh, uh, no, I haven't got enough for that sort of thing. No, I'm uh, trying to, say, uh, yeah. Uh, I, won't have another, I won't have another cookie. Well, out there. Mate, it might be good luck if you tell me the cookie, you might end up in the radio show. <laughs> 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 yeah, no chance, they seem to be. <laughs> oh, <I'm curious. laughs> right, so Oxford. Yeah, go for it. Uh, a ticket. Um, so, preferably John, because obviously if I go up there and he's not there, just, just not get into any of them yet. 
Well, it, I, I would say it would just be a matter of timing because of, well, what are the holidays like there now? Is it a, a major break or a short break or what? Oh, I imagine the schools and universities would be going back Monday, yeah. Oh, really? Well, yeah. And they're, they're, they've got, oh, they've got um, their event list. And, uh, yeah, I saw the event list. No, I, I, I'd be going knocking on their office doors and saying, look, I've got vital information if, you, if, if they haven't got that time at that moment, so I'll come back, you know, at the end of the day, whatever. Just hang about like a bag of smell until they um, <laughs> acquiesce. That's what I'll do. <laughs> that's what I'll do. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, Nothing like yeah. Johnny on the spot. And if they're not <laughs> there, speak to their personal assistants or whatever and uh, make appointments and, and just, um, you know, just... Well, see, there's, yeah, that's, that's the thing. I, um, I wasn't, I was already away from uh, making appointments and that because then things can intervene, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, I had a phone appointment, so, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, and no. It tends to not happen, there's yeah, no. much, so I'm not going to go anyway, so that's going to be my plan. <coughs> All right, well, I think uh, Angel, lead deck, show them exactly what to do and, and uh, nail these guys. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that, I'll give them a shout every day, make sure uh, they're keeping keeping up with their work and stuff and uh, <laughs> growing that they're protecting us all. So they're doing a good job. Yes, they are. Even Yard's been thanking them. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's been really good. <laughs> he has been good. He's been quite civil. You have, like to, it. you have to put a video on that. Yeah, good. <laughs> 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 I feel good. You're James, James Brown. Brown. Oh, James yeah, Brown. Okay. I feel good. Yeah, I understand. All right, got it. No, I was going to do another one for the Unity Motor. I've got the power, you know, that snap song. I'll go do that. Okay, dokey. All right. I'm going to go have some breakfast now. All right. Have a good one. I'm going to go have some breakfast now. Okay. And uh, yeah, uh, Monday, Tuesday, I'll uh, be making the journey, so uh, I'll fill you in after that. Okay, awesome. lovely. Look forward to hearing from you. I'll, uh, I'll hopefully they won't hack my camera as well, so I'll be able to get some footage. Yeah, yeah, take it with you, record everything, and uh, uh, yep. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Love you, guys. Love you, too. Uh, a few days. Good. I'll speak to you again. And uh, oh, John, you can send me a SoundCloud link, can you? Uh, Skype. Yeah. Yes. All right. Boy fix. Boy I'll fix. send it through YouTube messages. Excellent. Right. Well, have a good evening and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Okay. All right, mate. Have All a good right. one. I'll send that, okay. uh, the, the, the two pages that I sent covering to these guys, I'll send that through now once we hang up. Yes, yeah, you do that now. Yes, well, I'll wait for that to come first. Okay, yeah. Uh, All right. Okay. Talk to you later, Gator. See you later. See you, mate. Bye. Look at the way those glasses just come up off the neck, oh, they do. onto the eyes. No. Um. Okay, the kettle's on, I'm done mocking. Sounding a bit better today. Yeah. Yeah.
Karen Key. Love one, thank you. Yeah, I'll have a coffee, mate. Okay, now, we'll launch one over to um, England, right? Eh? 